Mr. Bradbury just said the danger is, and let's see here. You know, one might say, look, you haven't burned your bridges or taken a flamethrower to them by being this honest just, in the book. They I might agree. say to you, look, you've just destroyed any Let's see Harry's response. Bridge. Well, they've shown absolutely no What the heck does all that mean? Up at this you point. jerk. And I'm not sure like, how honest. He's such a jerk. Again, we've seen again in the interviews, it's like everything that he does, it's just fine. It's like, well, you know, they should apologize. I just you know, torch their bridges. Just a, a petulant baby. These burning bridges. You know, silence only allows the abuser to What? Abuse. You right. jerkwad. What a jerk. You're not... You know, that's the thing I don't like is the word abuse has gotten so overdone. I mean, here where I live, you'll hear, I'll be like hanging out with some people and it'll be a girl be like, oh yeah, I was abused, my boyfriend, like he wouldn't, he didn't agree with my opinions and he didn't change his mind. I'm like, that's not abuse, that's a disagreement. It's like there are people who've been actually abused. That silence is allowing the abuser to continue? What a jerk. And also, what a lying reframe. You're putting out everyone's personal business that is not, you know, fighting an abuser. Like, what a jerk. What a jerk. I don't know how staying silent is ever going to make things what? better. What? You're such That's a liar. What, I believe. what a jerk. He's completely shameless. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I wonder how much editing they did for this one. How lost we are, I thought. How far we've strayed. How much damage has been done to our love, our bond, what? and why. All because a dreadful mob of dweebs and crones. And now he's breaking up with her. Clinically diagnosable sadists along yep. the street. Feel the need to get their jollies and plump their profits and work out their personal issues. What? By tormenting one very large, very ancient, very dysfunctional family. What? Let's this is tackle a pitiful the jerk. Press. Honestly, I haven't heard like all the, the wording. I feel less and less bad for him. He's really not a good guy. I just want to concede a couple of things so we don't have to talk about them because it's very clear in the book. Paparazzi, horrific around your mother. That's still very horrible fair. today. Yeah. Totally get that. I think everyone watching this will get that. Press doesn't always tell the truth about you. You never met, and you know, it's, there's some lighter moments in the heat. And your wife during that period, obviously they weren't there. There, you can see them. So let's just concede all that. You against that? Right. Okay. So it, that kind of seems obvious. I wanted to talk to you about. It's quite a. Often in therapy, people start with a baseline, right. um, which is the Serenity Prayer, which I know you know. Well, I'm not going to turn this into a therapy session. Don't worry. But um, but so on that note, I don't know why they're speaking uh, like in code. Um, Serenity Prayer is specific to 12 step. I don't know if you guys know 12 step, like AA and whatnot, that that is what the serenity pair is. I'm aware of that. Um, and also, I'm not an expert, but as far as I know, a lot of their stuff is like making amends and things. Like you go and take responsibility and apologize to people. So I don't know if he's part of that program. And also look at the face Harry's making, like disgusted. He's like, yo, you're not allowed to say that. Just a huge ego. Prayer is, uh, we can you know, oh God, give me the serenity to accept what I can't change, the courage to change what I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So one thing I might okay. say to you is that there is a big, big, big difference between you and your family he that talks I get. Too much. They're on option one. Can't well, I guess he's trying maybe to it. reconcile You're things. on option two. The must do something about the press. If I don't stand up to what I consider these abuses, no one else will. But their approach, which is to sort of say, in a free country, you got to have a free press, people in power, you, your family have got to be scrutinized, someone's got to do it, we just got to rub along with them. That's not wrong, is it? That's not a crime, that attitude. No, the scrutiny is 100 That's actually a, a good mindset. Also, that's a good lesson. And you could see the difference. Like, look who's thriving and who's not. Look at Harry, how he's doing, and look at that family and how they're doing. And again, I think also, too, I, I have a little, like, pet peeve with it. So, on the one hand, I, I do think, like I mentioned TMZ, some things are criminal. They really are. But on the other side, I'll see, like, basketball players being played, paid $100 million, and they get furious at, like, 
a journalist or announcer um, analyst saying like you're not playing well like you shouldn't be allowed to talk it's like you're getting played 100 million dollars to play basketball if there were no press if there was no public you can go play basketball in the park for nothing you know so i think it's the same kind of thing you have massive benefits you have the most high status position you could possibly be born into literally right is there a higher status position in the western world that you could have by birth than a royal i don't think so so and the press the accepting of you know just you can't control it that's what i mean well my family have tried to control it for years what and they what a baby well my family tried to control it like he doesn't want them to have any uh like anything positive said about them. And I think actually Mr. Bradbury is getting to a decent point here. Um, there's a funny uh, YouTube skit I saw where it was like modern therapists tell you the world should change. And I think that's a really modern thing like this like, uh, or popular thing, not everyone's into it, but like Meghan and Harry, it's like, you're the ultimate victim and the world is the problem. Everything in the world that you don't like is a problem. Whereas maybe a better thing is, again, you, I can't control the world. There's many things I don't like in the world. But the more I could focus on what I can do to control myself or to avoid those things, that's how you're going to make progress. But this, you know, whoever's the angriest and most indignant should be heard the most. It's, it's just a failure mindset. It just does not work objectively. Because of their relationship. With the All right. Press. Well, that sounds isn't good. That built in it's, a something, base. it's something they don't want to change because it benefits. What are you them. talking about, well, you sir? It doesn't sure. always benefit them, no, it as always, you've said. Sometimes. So again, all right. I think we'll end it here, and maybe uh, I'm still trying to find the race part. If anyone uh, can put the actual time of that, um, so we could maybe wrap up with that. But anyways, uh, once again, he's doing the same thing. Blah blah blah. Benefits them. Wah 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 wah. Same old thing. And as some of you commented, they were protecting him. The family was protecting him. His objective uh, persona and actions were pretty bad. Thank you for watching. See you guys soon.